since Abu Jahl has been taken care of by two young Muslim boys, so now he was replaced by Abu Sufyan. Abu Sufyan took his place and he became the commander, the coordinator, and the leader. Ultimately, he arranged a great army comprising 4,000 people, and he started his journey from Mecca towards Medina with the same intentions that we have already talked about, the help of Jews promised and the, the threat to the trade routes, etc., etc. As this army was moving towards Medina, there were people dwelling en route also who had their sympathies out of ignorance or out of old traditions with the Quraysh, they also kept joining them wherever it was possible for them. So many more people joined them en route from different clans, from different tribes, and from different areas because of their sympathies with the Meccans or the Quraysh and their enmity with the Muslims. Ultimately, it's amazing that 6,000 more people joined him en route when he was traveling from Mecca to Medina with the design to take all those revenges which were burning his heart. This army now ultimately became an army comprising 10,000 people, which is not a small figure at that time. As we said, All these people who came from Mecca, the Quraysh, are those who joined them en route. They were not only one tribe. They were not only Quraysh. They were from different tribes and clans. But the aim was the same. The aim was to dominate the Muslims under all circumstances because stomach, as said by Hitler somewhere, the armies march on their stomach, and if the stomach is comfortable, then the society is comfortable, and trade was virtually their stomach. Also, these people had enjoyed a lot of privileges and very respected positions in their own local areas or in the bigger areas where they were living, they were having a hierarchy of social ranks who had a lot of things in their hands, decision-making, privileges, looking after their own tribe and having their own respect and having the own status in the society. All these things collected together, they made them enemy of the Muslims. In view of all these things, all pro Quraysh and all anti Muslim people they voluntarily joined this army to travel such a difficult distance and to go for such a big danger that can take life of one person or life, lives of the whole family as well and eliminate them from this earth once for all. But this is 
what the reality is.